Hey guys, welcome to a unplanned video. I just um, accidentally bought a like M10, so I wanted to make a quick video to explain why it's probably not the correct camera for me. My reservations, cameras which would probably suit me better, and modifications I need to make to make this camera work for me the best that I can. This comes off the back of the last video. If you saw the last video where I reviewed the Seven Artisans 51.1 and I really enjoyed using this lens on my M240. And that made me think mm, maybe I'm missing out on the whole like an M system shooting experience. Yes, I own the M240 and I've done so since 2015, I believe. And before that, the M8 and the M9. But as the years went on and as cameras got more modern, I kind of got a little bit lazy and I started using EVF cameras, the CL and the SL. And I think once you start going down that slippery slope, things get a bit too automated and a bit too easy. So I thought, let's buy an M10, number one. That's a good excuse to kind of make me start using a rangefinder camera again. Yes, I've got the m240 but you know what it's like if you buy a new toy it helps you get more into it a bit more and then secondly using on a more serious note secondly the m240 when i was reviewing the files next to the sl files and i was clipping the highlights and losing detail in the shadow so both ends because of the lower dynamic range on the older 2012 m240 compared to a more modern sl this is roughly the same age as an SL, I think. So yes, with that, let me pull out a pile of cameras and I'll explain things I'm maybe a little bit concerned about, things I'm excited about, how it compares to my other cameras, and then yes, modifications that I need to do. Obviously, more videos will come in the future. This is a quick and dirty video, just because I was too excited and I, I needed to make a video with my new camera. It sounds amazing. Hello, welcome. Matt here from MrLocker.com. So if you've ever seen this channel before, or perhaps my work on Instagram, you'll know that I normally shoot female portraits, often with fast lenses, and my camera of choice is a Leica SL for most of my photos. The obvious upgrade to the SL for me was going to be the Leica SL2S, but then on my recent trip to Valencia, I took my M240 with me, and I was shooting with the 50mm f1.1 7 Artisans lens, and that lens alone made me buy the Leica M10. I did this teaser clip on Instagram this morning in my story to see if anybody noticed that I actually had the M10. And the reason for my unplanned purchase, I just happened to be browsing on a couple of websites to see how much like M10P cameras cost because I actually prefer the M10P looks because of the engraving on the top plate. But then I just saw this ridiculously low priced like M10. As you can see from the video clips, it's got a bit of leatherette missing, but other than that, it's in pretty good condition and the price is marked down to just over the price for a mint like M240. I couldn't believe my eyes. Here you can see how similar it looks to my like M6 and a like M4P, and I think the bit of brassing from the used like M10 just makes it match side by side perfectly to my existing film cameras. Here you can see the side by side next to my M6. And as you can see, it's actually got a lot more wear than my M6. My M6 is a pretty clean copy because I tend to use my M4Ps instead of the M6. As you can see, the design of the Lycra M10 is very, very similar to the M6. And I love the fact that you've now got the ISO dial in place of where the film rewind dial used to be on the old film cameras. I love the sleek, minimal design of the digital Leica M cameras, especially in black next to my M6. Here you can see it is thinner than the M240, as you've probably seen in other videos. Let me just explain how I think I lost my way when it came to like M film cameras and maybe you can relate. I started with M mount film cameras, then I got my like M9 which is the, the battery holder. <laughs> then I got more like M film cameras and an M8 as well and more like M film cameras. And then I part exchanged my M9 for my M240 which is the M camera I've had ever since, since 2015. I then got the CL as a backup but that then became my main camera until I bought the full frame like SL which then became my main camera and now the Leica M11. So as you can see I was all in on M cameras and then as soon as I discovered the ease of the EVF cameras I kind of lost my way a bit and at some point I went all EVF cameras. My first working combination was the M240 and the CL until I bought the SL and then I was using either the SL and the M240 if I needed full frame for both cameras 
or if I wanted all EVF and ease of use, I use two mirrorless cameras, SL full frame CL APS-C. As mentioned earlier this week, I was using the M240 and the SL and just enjoyed using the M240 so much for street photography. That's what made me think about getting another M camera. So what is the plan for my non-model photography, such as street photography and travel photography? I think it would now make more sense for me to carry two M cameras because these cameras are the best suited for street photography. Use the M11 as my main camera, M240 as my backup. But if it's a usual trip of some portraiture and some non-portraiture, I'll probably take the SL and the M11 to at least to start off with until I get used to the M11 a bit more. Here you can see quite how much smaller the M11 is compared to the SL. And that's with the SL eye cup missing. It's fell off, so I may need to send it back to Leica to get a new eye cup replacement. Uh, let me know in the comments if that's happened to your uh, SL series camera. I'm excited by how much smaller the M11 is, but I do have some concerns. Number one, the SL has a diopter, my M11 doesn't. Number two, the SL has got two card slots, the M11 has one. Number three, I can only focus as close as 0.7 meters on most lenses on the M11, but with the L mount cameras, I can use my close focus adapter to close focus any like an M out lens. So, what's the modifications I'm going to make to the M11 to improve it? Number one, I'm going to put a matte screen protector on because they don't show the muck and look much smarter. Number two, I need a viewfind magnifier slash diopter. So I've already invested in one of those. I'll make a video soon. That will give me hopefully a good eyesight similar to using the SL. Number three, I'm going to be forced to pay the high price tag for the Leica M10 spare batteries because the battery capacity of the M10 is much less than my existing M240 and SL cameras. So I can't work with just one battery. Number four, I need a, a soft release. I don't normally use these, but the travel on the M10 button seems longer. So I've put a soft release on to make it similar to cameras that I'm used to. And last but not least, I need to put some PD anchors on, peak design, and then I can use my existing straps by Wotan Craft. I use wrist straps for street photography, and I use neck straps if I'm using multiple cameras because then it gives me kind of hands-free if I've got a, say, camera on my wrist. Lastly, I am not going to buy a Vizio Flex for like M10. The whole point of the M10 is to start shooting it like an analog camera and stay away from the EVF uh, temptations, if it were. So I'm going to use magnifiers as I would on film cameras, no EVF, and keep it as clean and minimal as possible. In terms of lenses, I plan to use M cameras as I think M cameras are best suited, and that's using small lenses where possible between 28 and 90 mil, mostly between 28 and 50 mil. I'll try to use black lenses where possible, especially for street photography, because on a black camera, I think it gives you a more stealth setup. But for other occasions, I can use my silver lenses because a lot of my silver lenses are smaller than my black lenses. For example, the little 50 mil Alcan, and in this case, the Light Lens Lab 50 mil F2.8 element replica. Both are super small, and I think they look super pretty also on the black Leica M10. As a portrait photographer, I will on occasion treat myself to using fast glass on the Leica M10, because after all, these are the lenses that I use for my portraits. If you want to see more of my portraits, feel free to subscribe, because I will do a full video of just portraits shot with the 7 Artisans 50mm 1.1. A huge thanks as always to my amazing patrons, and I'll put some more videos from the various models on there soon. If I don't speak to you before, thanks for watching, and have an amazing Christmas.